Aries. This is Star with Stars Empress Wisdom today to give you a love reading for this week in the first week of August. If you're new to my channel, I use different cards, different playing decks that I find. Um, I collect them, I bring them home, I name them according to their traditional meanings and such. If this message resonates with you, that's awesome. This is for you. If it doesn't, no worries. It may be for you at a later time. Or it may not be a message for you. Um, it could be for someone around you. Um, if you. But if it does resonate, please like, comment, or subscribe. That will be awesome. Thank you in advance. Hold on, don't fall. Um, thank you in advance. And let's get started. So I'm going to do how your person is what they're thinking about you at this time, what their um, feelings are for you at this time, what actions they're going to take towards you in the near uh, this weekend, actually, um, into next week, and also some messages from Spirit. All right, so let me do that first. I typically don't use the Oracle decks, but I'm going to use them now. I'm going to use them uh, for this week just to see how it goes. So. What is Aries' message for love? This could be f uh, about a soulmate, twin flame, or from someone from your soul tribe. Anyone that you're thinking about in love at this time. Message for Aries for this weekend in love. Message for Aries. Oh, that's way too many. Sorry, guys. <laughs> message for Aries in love for this weekend. Message for Aries in love for this weekend. If you, oh, also, if you would like to donate, um, you can get the information in the description. And thanks in advance for that as well. Thank you to those who donate. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. And I love you. All right, so let's see what you got, Aries. This is the same as Virgo, I believe. Unleash the wild within, Aries. It's time for you to unleash the wild within. Okay, and let's get a, this is from the Angels Ancestors Oracle deck, and this is from Soulful Wisdom. These are uh, Soulful Wisdom Oracle cards. Alright, this one to pop out today. I take a step forward, even if it means giving up something or someone I've known for a long time. So, this card is, if you can see it. It says evolve. It's time for you to evolve from this situation. One plus three is the number four. So four may be of significance to you at this time. Um, and so basically right now you need to release what is no longer serving you. Even if it's someone or something that's been, a, you know, like an attachment from the past. I just actually seen something, um, uh, something online that said, just because you know someone or have a history with someone or something, history doesn't mean that they need to be in your life. You know, people come and go for seasons and times and things like that for growth purposes. So just because you have history with someone, that doesn't mean that this person has to be in your life. People should stay in your life if they have purpose. And I just saw 333 right now. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So uh, let's see. Aries. What is your person of interest thinking about you at this time? Aries, your person. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. So, just a minute. Sorry about that, Aries. Okay, so your person may uh, feel like there is an ending happening with your relationship. Um, you may be ending things with a water sign of Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or they may feel like um, things are ending with you. They are conflicted right now because there was some fighting possibly. And some deception and trickeries going on. Um, so maybe there is an ending to this uh, relationship. Or just for the, just, it could just be for this weekend. Let's see. This person wants to communicate. Oh, wow. Okay. So this person wants to communicate. Possibly, um, this person wants to communicate, but they feel like either they're being materialistic or greedy 
or overthinking the situation or that's you and this person could be a uh, earth sign virgo capricorn or taurus so you may need to this person may want to communicate with you or feel like you need to communicate with them and this is my this is your twin flame card so this could be your twin flame or have something to do with your twin flame so all right again you may be dealing with the water sign here it goes again um so this person does have a deep love for you and feels like you're their dream come true oh but they may just feel like there's an ending happening between you guys because there has been conflict and uh you know you guys have been having some fights and you know what's needed is communication between you guys because it looks like this person does view you as their dream come true so that's a good thing all right actually i'm gonna use my other cards let's see how this person feels about you in their heart space how does this person feel about aries in their heart space let's see how this person feels about aries in their heart space in love aries okay so it looks like they're in love but they feel like right now no one's winning because in this situation because of conflict um so they may feel like you've been in and out with this situation you may be married to this person and they feel like you guys did have a loving marriage at some point or maybe they um and you may be dealing with a fire sign aries Leo, or sagittarius or somebody with fire in their chart um fire and water possibly scorpio maybe um because that's fire and water typically and look, look fire water fire <laughs> and two tens so this person feels like um this person has a lot of love for you the ten of cups and the ace of cups it's just that this relationship has become burdensome burdensome for them at this time maybe because you've been juggling work and love and it's time for you to possibly unleash the wild within you know i don't know if you can see it there you go you know um and maybe you need to let go oh sorry aries I guess we all letting go maybe uh, you need to let go of someone or something that is blocking this relationship from coming together oh she's Louise there we go okay let's see so this person does love you they do have love for you this is possible this could possibly be a twin flame situation if you know you believe in that right now they're mentally confused about your situation and it's making them a bit emotionally unstable or vice versa you could be emotionally unstable but they do see you as beautiful they see you as a beautiful fire sign so that's awesome aries um let's see what steps your person is going to take towards you for some reason your person is feeling a loss and regret of this relationship maybe because you've been unleashing the wild within and maybe because you are evolving from you guys' past situation and you guys have let go of you know just the conflict and the drama between you guys and so that the person this other person may feel like you know you're abandoning them or they lost you but look it's just too much conflict it's too much conflict between you guys right you know at this point in time so maybe this weekend it is a time to let go of this situation um so you can have a new beginning yep it's time to let go so you guys can have a new beginning let go of the conflict oh okay so this person feels like you are their actual this person probably is your actual fairy tale lover you know your dream boat you got twin flame you got this you got the ten of cups so this person loves you you um this person wants a new beginning with you but they are currently trapped in fear in their own mind right now they're trapped in fear they want a new beginning because they see you as single happy with money and everything and they're just like well what about me and it's like but you know hey i'm doing my thing you know aries confident doing their own thing you know so let's see a little bit more of what's gonna go on this weekend yeah okay so 
this person, uh, you guys either, you may be tired of the situation or they may be tired of the situation being the way it is. Um, maybe you guys had a connection too soon, a, you know, a, a sexual type connection too soon. And then you kind of got cold on them. So they're like, well, what, the, what, what's happening here? You know, but it could just be that you're, you know, focusing on yourself, letting go of things that's no longer serving you. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me just ask. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this person may feel that you are being materialistic and greedy or lustful and that, you know, you may be lying to them and you just wanted to hit it and quit it. It could be that. And this is not for everybody. That's just a, a message for a few like that. Somebody could have could think that you wanted to just hit it and quit it. And, uh, you know, but this it could just be really all in their head. Yeah. OK, so or they feel like you're, you know, you're gossiping, you're, you know, they you may be going around gossiping about y'all encounter or something like that. But, you know, again, this could be all in their head or vice versa. Basically, I feel like you guys need to talk. Let's get some advice from Spirit. 1111. Oh my gosh, this is super twin flamey right now. Okay, so you are on the right path, Aries. This is my, you are on the right path. Um, wishes come true. This is the right path for you. So this person and this path that you're going on, it is probably right. It may be the right choice for you to, you know, let go of what's no longer serving you in your life and moving forward let go and it might not be the person you might need to just let go of the conflict between the two of you but it looks like you need to stand your ground do not let anyone or anything deter you or stop you from what you got going on from your goals aries so one more for aries one more message for aries all right this is a great opportunity if you go after it okay this is a great opportunity if you go after it. So this could be a relationship that is good for you. I mean, oh, I just saw the Ten of Cups again and reunion celebration. Looks like you guys may be coming into some type of reunion or celebration with this person. Um, maybe they need to get out of their head and just talk. So I think that's what I'm going to name it. Y'all just need to talk about it. All right, Aries. So good luck this weekend. Hearts and kisses.